Well, hey everybody, I'm Jesse Munson with Munson Boats, and today I'd like to show you our latest delivery. It's a 52-foot landing craft powered by a pair of Yamaha 425 outboards. Come on board, let's take a look. So the bow door on this boat is 10 feet wide, which is plenty big enough to load full-size vehicles, big dump trucks, excavators, etc. It has a approximately 40 foot long cargo deck area and can transport equipment up to 30,000 pounds. So the 10 foot wide bow door is extended uh, to give it a little more reach and reduce the, the angle of uh, transition when loading heavy equipment. The bow door is operated via hydraulic rams, which are all stainless steel and aluminum and will hold up well in the marine environment. Uh, the bow door has a rubber gasket seal that seals it watertight when, uh, when closed. And one of the things we do on these larger vessels that are loading heavy equipment is put a float switch in. The float switch allows the door to move up and down and push the hydraulic fluids through the system so we're not putting all the load onto the hydraulic rams itself. It allows the door to move as the, as the load is being transferred on and off the vessel. So like all Munson boats, they're equipped with bow door locks to keep the door from inadvertently opening while underway. In the case of these larger vessels, we have a one inch solid stainless steel uh, lock, locking pin going into the receiver here that also has a stainless steel uh, bushing so it doesn't oblong out over time. The last thing you want on a landing craft is the door coming open while you're underway. Uh, these locking pins have saved a lot of uh, trouble in that respect because they hold the door should something fail in the system. So like all Munson boats, this boat has compartmentalization. In this particular boat at 52 feet, we have five watertight bulkheads creating six watertight compartments. Each is outfitted with a bilge pump and accessed via these Freeman 15 by 24 deck hatches. Deck is outfitted with eight cargo deck tie down pockets that are flush into the deck. It also has these cargo deck tie down rails running the full length of the cargo deck. Vessel's also outfitted with these three quarter inch lifting eyes with stainless steel inserts for picking the boat up with a crane. The gunwale is uh, equipped with four inch D rubber as well as a lower rub rail. And each side of the vessel has five 12 inch welded cleats. The main cabin deck is elevated approximately two and a half feet up above the main cargo deck, which gives you excellent visibility um, over tall loads and the cabin is offset to the starboard side, allowing you to see down the side of tall loads versus centered and having obstructed visibility. The boat's powered with a pair of Yamaha 425 horsepower outboards, which give it about a 40 mile an hour top speed at wide open throttle. The outboards are installed on Bob's Machine Shop jack plates, which allows them to be raised vertically while underway. Great for shallow water operation as well as beaching operations. And of course, we have a nice engine guard protecting the engines uh, on the stern here, which is very common with a lot of Munson boats. So inside this compartment below the wheelhouse, we have a Northern Lights six kilowatt diesel gen set. This gen set is keel cooled, so no raw water. It's got a recessed keel cooler in the bottom of the boat. Uh, to allow it to not get fouled in shallow water operation and beaching operation, which is mostly what this boat's doing. So the interior of this cabin is outfitted with overhead spotter windows providing great visibility. Rooftop air conditioner, of course, powered by the generator. We've got a Garmin MFD radar plotter sounder, jack plate gauges, and zip wake interceptor uh, controls here. Zip wakes uh, can be set on automatic and automatically correct port to starboard uh, list as the boat's in operation. Um, it's got also a diesel cabin heater. Um, so it's good, you know, for all types of climates and uh, Garmin VHF in the overhead. And most importantly, a 12 volt bow thruster a boat like this, especially with a big payload and lots of wind, there's a lot of wind sail effect and I highly recommend bio thrusters on these larger boats with outboard motors.
On the front of the wheelhouse here, we have the life ring, shore power inlet, which has battery charger capability, and uh, wash down system that is fresh water wash down. This boat has a 50 gallon fresh water tank and from washing the equipment down to the boat itself, it's nice to have a fresh water system. So this hull design is modified from our traditional hull design to minimize draft. So it, you know, we still have a nice front uh, entry in the bow to cut through the chop, but it transitions to a five degree, very shallow dead rise in the stern. This boat has a 21 inch hull draft. In other words, this boat can operate in two foot of water. Um, where it's being used is extremely shallow in the intercoastal waterways uh, in North Carolina. Um, and draft was a critical thing. And this boat should be able to operate anywhere they want to go in the intercoastal waterway. So unlike most of our larger boats in the 50 plus size range, this boat's pretty basic, pretty simple, and of course a lot less expensive than most of the 52 footers. Um, you know, twinned 425 outboards, giving this thing a, a 40 mile an hour top speed, you know, it's still got plenty of power. The bow thruster for maneuvering in tight quarters, and you know, this giant work deck with a ton of cargo capacity, um, you know, it's a great, you know, all around utility boat that can do a lot of things and do them all very well. I'm really pleasantly surprised how boat, the boat operates with the twin engines. Um, you know, these bigger outboards with bigger diameter props, they work well on these larger boats. Um, and so, all in all, this thing is just a, a more basic boat than what we typically produce at this size, but at the same time, pretty much just as capable. Well, hey, everybody, I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you very much. Check us out and all our newest deliveries at MunsonBoats.com. And uh, we'll keep posting more on YouTube. Thank you.